Hey everyone, this is Long and I hope all of you have a great day so far. And before I start this Wizard of Hub video, I want there's two things I want to apologize for. First one is that it's been very while, very while, a long time since I did make last video, which is about two weeks ago, maybe a little tiny bit more actually. And I'm terribly sorry about that, but as you can see, I'm not even in a room. Well, I'm in a room, but I'm in a living room at my brother's place, because I got evicted from my old apartment. Lots of things have gone on, and there is a complete chaos in my life at the moment. So, And Wizard Hall is one of those games I really want to have a, be completely alone. To enjoy it, you know, uh, I need to be... F be in a certain mood to play it. It's not like I can play go play like Subnautica, which I can be quite chaotic or whatever. And Wizard Hall is one of those games I really want to be in a certain mood to play it. And uh, of course, I also have been taking my got my cat fixed. Two of my, my well, I only have two cats, Tifa and Shanli. And we got Shanli here. As you can see, she have her. They are pretty much back. Oh yeah, 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 yeah girl. And they are pretty much back to the more normal now. They are running around eating, so they are. <laughs> yeah, about that. And of course, oh my, oh my God, Chan Lee, why do you need to stand on the desk? You always do that. Oh gosh, I, I, oh God, I, 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 my eye, I got hair in my eye. But yes, and the second thing I want to apologize for is that the comments you get and write on the videos, Wizard of Hub videos, and that I can be very late to reply on them. Some are even two weeks since I did see the comments. And that is not because I don't read your comments and don't want to reply. That the thing is that actually I don't get any notice about those comments. I only get notice about certain comments. And I, I've been super confused by that. So some of you, I'm terrible, terrible, terrible sorry for that. Because your comments mean super much to me. I'm super happy. And there's Chen Li. She, she's super happy as well. She doesn't... You're happy, aren't you? Chen Li! Ignore me, Dan. But... <laughs> Do what cats do. L demand love, but ignore me. But yeah, okay. But yes, and that is not that I don't want to reply on comments. I just I have no idea. And since I upload about one to two videos a day, it makes me very hard for me to go back and check all the videos for all comments people might have been write written a while back and all that. And of course, they need to be running around in a bag. Kids. I say we love them as well, but yes, and hopefully I, I there is apparently lots of people that have that kind of problem on YouTube. Uh, it's a combination of Google and YouTube. You know, they like don't fix it; they make it worse and things like that. But hopefully, I have found out a little way so I can actually actually check if you write a comment on the videos. So thank every one of you for the comments, seriously, and terrible sorry for the, both that the Wizard of Heart video is a bit later and the comments that I don't reply on until very late. So yes, so thank everyone and lean back now and enjoy the video of Wizard of Heart. All lean forward, lean to the side, I don't know where you lean and it doesn't matter as long as you enjoy it and are happy. See you on the video. Oh gosh. Whew. I almost got stage fright there. <laughs> and before I actually do start the video, I want to apologize to Mimi Garalo, Da Pretty Bish Jackson, Cecilia Corsalet 99, and Jenna Lewis for being late with the comments and things like that. And everyone else of you, of course, because I'll be very slow with this video. I really, really sorry about that. But now we gotta start it finally. Dog in every day and earn rewards. I like rewards. Except we're gonna do that. Except a wall. I learned that thank for all of you that comment and note Force me to accept all the gifts I get in the game because I'm hopeless with that. I'm like What? Did I get the gift? Oh really? But yes, I'm really 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 stoked for this now and uh, I got so many nice great comments uh, about uh, tips and things like that and uh, there was supposed to be about mystery series that is uh, a unicorn I like that so I understand this that there's lots of things going on with these there are lots of mystery series things like that with lots of extra things but apparently if I do play that with another character than Joel it will save over my current save uh, as Mimi, Mimi Garalo mentioned here and I'm very hel very helpful thankful for that because Otherwise, I would just click on, go there and play, and uh, apparently, overwrite poor Joel. 
So before I do anything stupid like that, I actually gonna jump right back into story because I'm really really curious to see whatever the story gonna be. And Dravi Sonia Dark Hearts said that it would be very exciting. As well did I see a very 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 fine picture of Ares. Hmm, I wonder if I'll get to see my dear shooter today as well. <laughs> oh, I, I I really do dig that she actually like Professor Snape. Well, Schuler, I call him. Yeah, Snape. I'm pretty sure we'll have different professors today. Well, Anna, hopefully. Too bad, his class is the best. I just love how vicious she actually is. Like, no one go near my man. I'm like, oh, it's free. <laughs> I'm scared that you're going to do something horrible again. Hey now, you're the one who always fails at magic. Oh, I, I shut up. Well, it is true. It hurts a bit. Then the bell rang, signaling the beginning of the class. In a way, the errors actually reminds me of Joel. They both are very like, very right on, like, quick hide. Yeah, yeah. I wonder who's going to teach our lesson today. Wait a moment. This feels a bit weird. Didn't I do the... Story with Joel? Why aren't we about to escape? I feel very confused. The door to the classroom opened and the family face walked into the room. Huh? The headmaster? Good? What are you doing here, dude? Surprisingly, it was Headmaster Randolph who entered the room. Randolph with red nose, with said, uh, "What is the Headmaster doing here?" Yeah, that sounds serious. All right, class is about to begin. He then scanned the classroom, and when he found me, he smiled sweetly. Okay, that was uh, that was probably more creep warning on that smile. Oh, it's our new student. How is it going? Have we gotten used to it here yet? And ah, oh, he looks so nice. Seriously. Yes, thanks. Why the puzzle look? No, it's just I was wondering why are you here? Oh, you don't know that? At the academy, even the headmaster is in charge of certain classes. I didn't know that. I teach the history of wizardry, contract magic, barrier magic, and magical creature ecology. Ecology. That was lots of classes he have. Oh my freaking lord, he's like a Hufflepuff or something like that. Wow, I had no idea! Me neither. That's crazy, even the headmaster teaching your classes here? I was told headmaster just sat in their chair and signed papers all day. Well, I assume that is just part of what they need to do. We will continue our lecture in magical creature ecology. Today we'll be learning about fairies. Fairies... What? It is my turn to shine? Yes, it is, Ares. Finally your turn. We have been waiting for this. At least I have. Shh. Stay in the bag! Hey, don't show me in! Fairies inhabit in every region of Jed. 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 I was gonna call it Jed. Fundamentally, they are intelligent, social, and they even have created their own unique society. They are the magical creature most similar to humans. Really? I just imagine a little heiress. I'm similar to humanity! <laughs> That more like a witch than but yeah. However, when it comes to intelligence, it can be said they excel over humans. Really? The fairies that control the four elements, the four spirits, are typical solitary beings and are closer to the general concept of fairies. Now, among the four spirits, which one are the water spirits? Anna? Eris? I don't know! Ah, oh gosh, I know this. Salamander's fire, Sylph is wind, Gnome is earth, Undyne's is water. So I gotta go with Salamander just because. <laughs> ah, we're gonna go with the right answer. I want to shine at least once. Yes. The answer is Undyne's. Correct. It seems like we have been studying diligently. No, I'm just a very big uh, fantasy nerd, and I learned that many years back. That is what happens when you're getting very, way, way into fantasy things like that. Keep up the good work. And people said you don't learn much by reading. I will! Hooray! I was right! I feel happy. Love Eater! Really? Today I would like to talk about these undines. Hey, Eris! What? 
Do you know anything about Undines? Like, have you ever met one before? Uh, I can't remember at all. But for some reason, hearing that name makes me feel sick to the stomach. No! I wonder why that is. Either she is a sylph and sylph doesn't like Undines, or she actually is a salamander. Which is, I actually don't make sense because she is uh, blue, and blue of course is the color of water spirits usually. So, usually what I see, red is for uh, salamander, green, brown for gnomes, purple for wind, or blue, white, blue for water server. And then leaves run rivers and springs. They have no gender, but they are said to take form of beautiful women. Are there any undines around here? Because I do know there is a little spring around here, very close by. I, I, I need to go out there and check for undines later on. They are believed to have, uh, be very curious and have an affinity towards humans. Oh, really? There are many really moments here, I feel that. In general, many fairies hate humans and will not reveal themselves. Aww. More love, less hate! However, there are numerous tales of reading in which an undying falls in love with a human. Undying is a kind heart and pure, it is said. What do you mean kind heart and pure? They are arrogant and phony! <laughs> I'm trying to... Either she is a undying that doesn't like other undines. I'm just throwing out the possibilities. Huh? Ah! Eris? That was weird. It's like I just had this sort of gut feeling. So maybe you have met an Einstein before? I don't know! But for some reason it really ticked me off! Well, then again, I think like 95% of everything in the world ticks you off. Oh. She really riled up. Better say nothing that might provoke her even further. Yeah, probably not better not to do that. And it's getting darker and darker and darker. So dark that you can't see your hand in front of your face. And then came Nightfall. Phew, so I made down in one piece. I thought I might be... Uh, uh, w uh, I thought I might... It I'm I thought I might bite it when I lost my free halfway down the vine though. It's late. You don't think you ran off, do you? Okay, so it is the continue. Whoosh. I accidentally thought I actually accidentally started another play and kind of ruined where I was with Joel and all that. And that is a big problem when you haven't played the game in for like as I haven't for two weeks and then I'm like where the heck was I in the last time? It's like when you're playing an RPG game, you know, I haven't played it in for weeks, and I'm like, I'm gonna play it again! Let's go! Mateys and the Cheerios, and we gotta play, and where the heck am I? I don't know! I think I better reset the game. And then it happened again, you pause at that place, and then blah, 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 reset, reset, reset. He's late, you don't think you ran away, do you? Come on, there's no way you do that. That's right. I never run away. Man, I, am I the only one imagine like standing a cave like, duh, duh, like Batman or something? I hope that was Joel. Otherwise, it would be quite exciting. I'm still curious. Could be anything for what for what we know. Well, you probably know. I don't know. I don't know anything. Come on, away! That's right. I never run away. Repeat. Ah, there he is. Oh, you will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Meh. You're late. There was nothing I could do. The house mother was making her rounds. I'm just glad you came anyway. We better hurry. Let's go for the tree. Right. Left, I say. Ooh, that looks kind of spooky, but at the same time, very good. Afterwards, we safely made it through the gap in the wall and reached the grounds outside the academy. So far, so good. Yeah, no problem. Well, you're smiling and seem optimistic. I like that. That is good. That is good. Be optimistic. So, where to now? Uh -huh. Eric's anxiously flew to and fro. 
flew to and fro? I don't, I don't know what that means. I know what anxiously is because I'm like that is my that describes me about ninety percent of my life. Anxiously flew to and fro. That flew to and frogged, fro froing like. Okay, now you can't see because of my hair, but you know, wrinkle my forehead like. Or something like that. I assume that is it. Eris? Why does she look so happy? Eris, what is it? Oh! Oh, no, she looks sad. Don't tell me she's lost. <laughs> oh! That sounds a bit weird. I was throwing that out. You weren't lying when you said you knew the way, right? Oh! <laughs> And the cat looks like me. What the fuck are you doing, person? You're weird, and we know it. I'll rip her wings right. What the fuck is wrong? Why is are you so vicious for sudden? Your way to wish, vicious, vicious for this kind of music as well. The music is way too happy, nice for him to. Like Gonna rip your wings off, one bit at a time. Cry now, blue fairy there, cause I'm ripping your wings. Okay, yeah. Honestly, that is kind of, I really hope that doesn't happen. Yo, wait! He... I'm thinking, shut up! I, I, I... If you do that, Joel, I might slap you. And you don't want that, cause I hate violence. I really think that I do love many action games. Well, well, whatever. Eris demanded and fluttered her wings. Just then, every wing started to glow faintly and glowing fragments of light showered in the air. It's so pretty! I want to see that! Okay, I, I actually hope for a really cool image, you know, a well, beautiful image and all about. Okay. Half point for that. Then, the bits, of, the bits all set into place and something resembled a gate with light appeared. Rude. Is that a st staircase to heaven or something like that? What's this? I don't know. Ah! Did you remember something? She created a freaking gateway or something. It's a fairy road. Is that something seen with the rainbow road, but from like Zelda? Oh my god! I just imagine if Link get to find that, he would be like. <gasps> And then started to kill off Ferris because he, 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 listen. That could be so terrible. Oh gosh. Never let Link find a fairy road. He's a master. Fairy road? Yeah, but what is that? Yeah, it's about to take you to the woods of fairies. And she just. Oh! Let's make that! I don't. I remember that we can use this as a shortcut to the tree of knowledge. Really? So we have to pass through the worlds of fairies? Yep, but I always connect somewhere in this world. What? Though the location and even the time exists. Okay, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Though the location and even the time X are completely random unless you know how to navigate it. So you mean you can be like lost it forever and come back like Hello everyone, I've been gone for five minutes! No, okay, I just imagine like Rand and all them like super No, it's been like 50 years! Have you seen any fairies? I'm trying to find you around where they are! Ah! Okay, that would be quite awesome actually. Well, not awesome but quite funny. In a comedy way. That's that's why you need me, your fairy guide. Are you like the fair man? You know the fairy man. I mean, in uh, Greece myth, mythological myth, 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 the dude that brings you down to Hades. Do I need to pay you? If you don't need to do that, I'm actually worried about the guard dog. Just saying it. So when you said it would take half a day to reach a tree and all it, did you mean through this ferry road? I guess so. I think it's like a shortcut. Think? Oh? Do we do? So how long would it take for someone to walk to the tree and all without it? 
beats me. Thank you for that. Don't they have goo magic magic man? Oh, uh, I was like magic Google or something. That would be super great. Well, gee, but I bet it's so far away we started before we got there. Good thing she remembered the fair road for us. I don't, I, I'm just, I want to get into the fucking fairy road. I want to see the fairy world. You know, your vogue memory is going to land us in trouble someday. Hey, I've just done fine so far. Yeah, you done it. We love you. Look, I found a fairy road in I? If you're going to complain, then don't use it. S sorry. Hurry up and lead away. I just imagine him like you. Batman. Do, 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 do. Seriously, is that how you ask a favor? No, no, no. And Anna just feels poor for poor Anna. She's like in between those two, like. Take it easy, both of you. Peace and love. No. It's like, you know, Gojira. Gojira, what's it like? Good grief, you truly are despicable. Well, they actually made a move about that. Despicable me. I really like that one. She could be one of the minions. <laughs> I guess Joel will be. Uh, what? Oh, hey, what is his name? Groot? Hey, not Groot. That is from Guardian of the Galaxy. But uh, well, the the guy with the long nose, the bad guy. That is a despicable me. And I guess Ares would be one of the minions. And who the heck would Anna be? I was gonna say Professor Nefarious, but that would be so wrong. Maybe I'll just go on my own then. See if I you can find it. See if I you can find it by yourself. What? Oh no, they're into each other's fruits again. Yeah, they're like rabies. <laughs> Fight! Follow me! Ares April will turn away and head into the glittering gate. I wonder if there will be ever be a day where they actually get along. Maybe, maybe not. I don't, I don't dare to guess. Actually, come on, let's go. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. We follow Ares inside and found ourselves deep inside a glittering tunnel. Then I saw some black hole that looked like it might be an exit. Is that our way out? That leads to the world of fairies. We have to get off this road and go through. Neat. Wait a minute. Everything is so shiny white around you. What is it? Don't fairy hate humans? Are we going to be fine if we just come walking in? It will be fine. Probably. Uh, I'm not sharing your confidence here. If they have a problem with it, then they have to deal with me. Dun, dun, dun. I have a really bad feeling about this. Yeah, I, I can a bit tiny as well. I mean, that sounds very, 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 very unsure. We pass through the exit and enter a dark cave. Is that a fairy world? Because that doesn't look so very fairyish. That looks more. Oh my god, she is the fairy man. She brought me to Hades. And I just met him. But, but yo, how are we doing? <laughs> Where are we? A cave? This is... Do you know where we are? Uh, what could it be? I get a feeling like we're some stupid... Some stupid little things that lives here. I get a feeling like we're some stupid... Oh gosh, I'm trying to read it. I get a feeling... Like where we're some stupid little things that live here. I assume it since it's under Earth, I guess it's gnomes? Stupid? Humans! Humans! Go home! Get out! What? What is this? Just then, I heard a voice that sounded like it came from my feet. Oh, gloves! <laughs> eh? When I looked down, I saw a bunch of little people running around on the ground. They couldn't have been more than four inches tall. I don't know how long four inches is, but uh, I know that it's not very tall. They all had big nose and wore three corn hats on their heads. Yikes! What are these guys? Oh, I remember that! Gnomes! It's like the gnome then. <laughs> gnomes? Earth spirits. Why Earth? Attack! Gnome <laughs> Gnome Oh yes, sir! Man, why don't we get to see pictures of, of them? Before I knew it, water started to spring on our heads from the ceiling. Ah, no, it's water! Eek! Whoa. 
Air that I end up getting soaked. While Joe saw managed to avoid getting drenched. How does he do that? That is one of those, you know, good looking cool guys that like manage to avoid all the bad things like that. Let's get out of here, run! You might get clean if you get drenched in water. As long as he has water, I don't see the danger in it. Right! Out again! With all the all the energy we could master, we dash out of the cave. There is an exit! I see it! Phew! We're safe! Man, I'm disappointed I didn't get to see a gnome! Why couldn't they add a gnome? We need gnomes! I love gnomes! They're funny! Is it just them or all? Do all fairs act like jerks? Probably all of them. That's not comforting at all. Achoo! Shivers! I'm cold. Okay, I mean... I'm cold! Give me your coat. Achoo! My wings are freezing! You're over-exaggerating. No, I'm not! I'm tiny, so I freeze easily! Fine. <laughs> Remove his necktie and wrap it around the areas. Oh, Ah, so warm. Oh god, that is so cute! <laughs> And this is for you. Really? Okay, yeah. I assume he said he placed his cloak over me. Yeah, like a gentleman should do. I gotta say thanks. Cause I'm not fine! I'm freezing! And I want your warm body against mine. That is a perfect trap, ain't it? Thanks, it's so nice and warm. Good to hear. Why are you being so being so being Why are you so being nice? And this is for why you're being so nice. I'm not sure. Um, my English has uh, been completely out the window. And it's very hot here today, so I'm like. <sighs> Melty. Man, where did Sabi come from? Where did you It's nothing special. I, I do the same for anyone. Well, that sucks. Now stop talking, silly. Let's hurry, hurry it up. Okay. What's the game? Why is he pretending to be a good person? <laughs> Yes, he's trying to trick us into false security. False sense of security, safety. He's not pretending, he's just a really nice person, see? Hey, you don't crush that. Ah, Yes, one! Come on! It could be, could be good moment. Looks like I have no more sorting. Wanna use... I wanna see you soon, don't you wanna see me too? I want that! Okay, how do I do that? Uh, read... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Do you store tickets? Ah, oh, okay, so I can buy... I didn't know that! But that'd be perfect, because I want a bit longer episode since I have been recording for two weeks on... Which I'm the... Once again, terrible sorry about! We have been walking in the woods for a while. Are we even getting anywhere? I feel like we've been seeing this place before. Well, actually, uh, it looks like the same picture even before we got into Farewell. Hold on, maybe there's a fairy road around here somewhere. Eris flutter wings once again. Ugh, no luck this time. You're so useless. What? She made you see gnomes. Okay, they weren't your biggest fans. Uh, I assume they would be, if they were your fans, they would be probably your smallest fans, but still. I just make me think of gnomes in World of Warcraft, you know? I think they are so fucking adorable. I love them. Take that back! I'm finding a fair one isn't an easy task, you know? I feel like there should be more fairs up ahead for some reason. At any rate, I can at least sense an increase in fairy power. But argh, my memory is so foggy, why can't I remember a thing? I want to know as well! Oh? Just then, everyone had a sudden reaction. I felt it, the present of fairies, I figured I can do it now. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Flutter her wings once again. And there we go, sparkle! Then, just like before, a little particle of light gathered together to make glittering gateway. There it is again, Fairy Row! Thank goodness! Goodness! Let's go! Let's go! This one is really long, I wonder where the exit is. Maybe it's just a little further ahead? Well, I assume it's, 
It is further ahead at least. Look. I look in the direction that you always were pointing towards so the exit. I mean, I don't know if there is like, literally like a tunnel, you know, like it's walls and you just go. Or it actually is just... Considering it looks very wide, I just, you know, you're like walking and you can go everywhere. And I just imagine like you can be lost in eternal whiteness. Could that be the, f the tree of knowledge is? No way that would We only have stuff walking. I guess you're right. Sometimes you need luck though. Let's check it out. Okay. Uh, oh, this looks beautiful. Oh my gosh. Where are we? The place we had entered was a forest surrounding in thorny bushes. We are forest! She seemed to know what that is. Erzwin suddenly stood up as if she had to remember something. I only imagine her like a dog, you know, like. <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> oh, she's. Oh, God, she's so cute. What's up? I also remember something. It's about the fairies here. Uh, uh huh? Is. I need answers! I'm gonna jump right into the next part here, because. I need to know. Briar Fairy A. Humans! And a female. Are they? Since they are thorny, are they horny fairies? Well, I assume they are like uh, you know bees and flowers and things like that. I guess they are polluting. If you know what I mean. Wink, wink, not that. Okay. Uh, we hate girls. You should not have fault. Okay. It's not like kid. You you know little boys like we hate girls. We might get their bacilles, whatever it's called in English. I don't even remember. You shall not fall! And, and now I just imagine it's like, you know, every, uh, this is some sort of Gandalf fairies, like, they have like some sort of thorny beard, like, You shall not push! Fairies wearing dress of crimson red rose and petals appear out of nowhere and start to yell at me all at once. W what's going on? These fairies really hate humans, especially girls! What are they discriminating, you bastards? What is up with these fairies? Seriously? The very next second. Oh god! The surrounding foreign thick close on me, and before I knew it what happened, I was trapped in something that resembled a bird cage. What's happening? We got her! We captured her! Let's leave her here to rot! What's up with these fucking fairies? They are are they evil little monsters? I thought they were good. Come on, what is up with them? <laughs> oh my god! The fairies ridiculed me b before flying off somewhere. Help me, I'm trapped! Anna, I can still use. Can you still use your magic? Oh, good idea! Oh, I'm a mage and I apparently forgot that I could use magic! And, where, and what is Joel, Joel doing here? He's like. Oh, they hate you, girls? Well, I'm not a girl. Or am I? We don't know, really! <laughs> I creep red in my wand. I'm trapped by foreign minds, so the only way out is fire magic! Alright, fire magic, calm down and think. That's right! Oh, flames! Turn everything at to ash! Globus flow! That's actually quite dangerous. I just imagine like a flamethrower from the wand. The instant I waved my wand, a flame shot from, forth from the tip. I did it! But then the flame disappeared as if it had been absorbed by the vines. Crafty! Crafty! No way, it's failed! I tried it again! I don't think you should do that! Wait! That's not a problem, this can ne neutralize magic barrier around it. Are you kidding me, man? She had demanded to do a spell and then, then the, those fairies like, Ah, fuck you! No, what are we gonna do something? Maybe there's something we can do from the outside. Can't flutter her wings. Can't arrows do a ball of glow light form and shot towards me like a bullet. I instantly closed my eyes and braced myself. However, when they hit barricade, it seemed to bounce away. <laughs> Boink! I, I, man, that is why a mage always need a knight. For me, that is the classic fantasy setting. A mage and a knight. It is uh, like, you don't know. 
when the magic can't do it, sword will, and vice versa, things like that. I just think that is a very nice combination. Darn! I guess that's not gonna work. What to do? Joel can't use any magic. Oh yeah, I forgot he can't do, do that. Ah! Yeah, who's using us here, Joel? Don't tell me I actually gotta do it. I gotta do break it with my bare hands. That would be quite cool, though. Joel, look up the cage without saying a word. Joel, what are you thinking? I'm gonna save you. How? Oh? But how? Joel stood in front of the foreign cage and grabbed it with his hands. He actually gotta do it! He gotta do his use of that! He gotta do that? I mean, I've been pricked by foreign bushes before, like, accidentally, like, bump into them, and it hurt like freaking hell! And he got a little. That is so cool! Tap to continue. Magic talent? What, uh, what am I supposed to do? I gotta wait to come out here. You made it! That was easy! I have now points to continue! Cleared! Whew. I'm happy for that. Back to store base. I, I need to continue this. I need to I need I need to know. I'm going to save you. But how? Come on! <sighs> Joel! Ugh. With all his might he started tearing the vines apart. Do all the forest blood drift from his hand onto the ground. Stop your bleeding! Don't worry about it. Ah, I, I just feel the pain. Oh my freaking god. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. One of my cats accidentally cut, uh, well, claw my finger recently, and that hurts. And I just imagine. Imagine. Ah! At least. Couldn't. But, 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 but. Couldn't you at least take your cloak around your hands? That would protect quite a bit, actually. Are you crazy? Stop it already! Be quiet! He couldn't rip away the vines, ignore my ple my pleas for him to stop. Stop it, that's enough! Oh, oh. well! The blood continued to trickle down, forming a pool on the ground. Stop! I was on the verge of tears. I, 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 that yes. And... Uh. Finally it tore open a god large enough for me to fit, fit through. No! Okay! Through the gap that he made, I was able to slide through and escape the foreign cage. Are you okay? I'm fine, but look at you! I got his hands and saw the large gash and blood that covered them. I'm so sorry. Don't cry, as long as you're safe, I'm happy. But your head, don't you understand how fucking... I... Oh god damn it. Uh, I, I, I can imagine how that feels. I... He told me as if he wiped the tears from my face. A thought shot through my mind like a bolt of lightning. It was like you and Joe were the same person. Well, all right, it ain't the same person. Wait, wait. Don't. If they're not the same person, another possibility comes to my mind. Twins. Or maybe he just was very girlish when he was small and called himself. He wanted to be June and turn to Joel. When he, I don't know. Some people evolve, are different when they're younger and they want to be different. You know the stories. And we are all alike. We are equal. Something wrong? No, it's nothing. It couldn't be, could it? I don't know! But why? Oh, why don't they continue the freaking story? Man, I'm oh gosh, I'm about to burn up here. Ah, ah, this is so I'm so hot. Not in there, like yeah, I'm, I'm hot. How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? More like I'm burning up because it's so freaking warm and I'm getting way too excited. And I'm very red in my face and sweating like a pig. Not very romantic. <laughs> no, it's nothing. Could it? I don't know. More importantly, your hands. I quickly pulled out the handkerchief, ripped it in two, and wrapped the pieces around his hands. Thanks. That's just for now. Once we get out of here, I will heal you with magic. She's right. We gotta keep moving. Who knows where these evil things will come back? 
Next time we go to the ferry road, bring a flamethrower. Nah, we don't do that. I assume there has been like war, you know, or something like that. I assume that is why pe they are so angry at each other. Just as I was stuck walking forward, the strangle left my legs and collapsed to the ground. What happened? I don't know. I guess I'm just exhausted. So be it. We got now the choice. He said to himself, and then I brought the pick me up in his arms. Joel, put me down! We need to get out of here. Stop squirming. Don't! That was not much of picking don't or butt. I like butts. You, I, you probably like butts. We like butts. But we don't. Well, I pick don't. Don't! Stop! I'm fine! I forced myself out of his arms and back onto the ground. Then I took a deep breath to calm myself down. See, I'm good! Are you sure? Yep, anyways, it's more important we get out of here. Got it, let's go. All of a sudden, Joel took my, me by the hand and started walking. <laughs> I felt warm his hand through the glove of the handkerchief. His warmth and his blood. You're sheared by blood and tears. Not raised and my cheeks began to blush. I'm already blushing. For many reasons. I can't stop thinking about Joel. No, considering everything like that, that is quite something. I walked for a bit, we came up on a serene lake. The stars reflected so brightly of the lake that it was nearly impossible to separate water from the sky. I would love to see that. And that scenery and that picture, that looks amazing. Seriously, that is a beautiful, be beautiful art in this game, definitely. It's beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, Joel. It's sure something. If gods the worlds of the fair are so close to the stars. Are you aliens? They are aliens! I, oh gosh, damn it. Yeah, as long as they're not like Xenomorph, you know, the alien, the alien alien like, <laughs> Kill me! Oh, that would ruin that so fucking much. Um, so, can I have my ha hand back? Oh, sorry. It's okay. Feeling a bit embarrassed, I, I instinctively turned my face away from him. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that kind of fit. Ugh, it's getting too hot here. I can agree on that. I'm going to look around for Fairy Road. Huh? Will it be okay by all your, by yourself? I'll be fine. I'm a fairy after all. You two stay here. Wouldn't want to run into more evil fairies. Okay. I mean, are all fairies douchebags? I think that is kind of nice. Kind of funny impression of fairies. Usually they're like magical and super kind of things like that. And then we have these fairies. Briar fairies. They are evil. They are nasty. After she was done talking, Ares flew off. And now it's awkward silence. Then it just became two of us all alone, and an uneasy silence crept over us. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Thanks for saving me earlier. Don't mention it. I did it because I wanted to. Yeah, but still, you hurt yourself to help me. Once again, I saw June's face when I glanced over at Joel. It ignited my suspicion all over again. Could Joel be June? But June was a girl. But it seems so alike. Yes, they both. They are both the same. I'm getting so fucking confused by this. This is mind fucking me. I need. I need to know. Please tell me. Maybe I should ask him then again. Oh yeah, that's all. What's all? I remember a baby goat stands on a small rock. If the sun goes down, the goat goes to sleep. It's a very odd rock, rock and roll. A lot of it, but if the goat goats go to sleep, he falls off the rock. That was a song my mom made up. How in the world could he know it? It must be. But how? But is that even? I'm so fucked up. Curious now. Joel, are you June? Come on, give me a freaking answer! I need that! That ah, oh, they're tormenting me! That that's evil! You shouldn't do that! I'm an honest YouTuber, I'm trying oh god damn it! I need to play, I need to know. Hello people of the world! I'm the lovable cute intelligent boot Ares! Yes, we love you, Ares! Ares, Ares! You're sure full of yourself. Why do you need to show your butt against us, Joel? What was that? You're here again? Why does it matter to you? I was also asked to help with next preview. Next time, end of a journey. Hey you! Too fast! You're not allowed to say the title yet! 
sorry. Guess I also have a bad time. You need a purpose, you yard! Oh. <laughs> I hate beating around the bush. Well, excuse me, aren't you going to give them a taste of an upcoming story? Nope, my job here's done. Bye. What? Hey, hold on! Hey, we're all of this and we're gonna just leave everyone hanging like this? Don't do that! Don't be asses to me! I didn't ask for that! Oh, god damn it. Now you got a, you, you got the journal. Why not check it out? We gotta do that. A uh, fairy. Read the journal. We gotta do that a bit quickly. A uh, fairy. Fairies have the small body with little wings. They are the guardians of the forest with fascinating looks and beauty. They get so mad if you damage the nature or violate violate their territory, because their anger brings a great disaster that people scares them as a fearful existence. And the bigger the size is, the larger power is. Well, I assume that is why the fairies have problems with humans. Though I don't really know why they, like the briar fairies, have a problem with females and women. I mean, when I think of an example of lumberjack, the first thing is not a woman; it's a big hairy man. They're like, "Yeah, I gotta chug a beer and beat the bear." That was odd. What? We're gonna continue because I, 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 I need, I need answers. I need to know. You probably do know. I don't. Main store day six, end of a year. Have it only been six days? My, they are very busy. They're quick, and I'm like slow. Are you June? My mom made that up that song. So and beside you, should have known. <laughs> yeah, my mom made that. Uh, I'm a cobra. I'm, 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 I'm terrible, sorry, but I'm so excited now that uh, my English is swinglish. My mom made up that song. So no one else beside you should have known it. Jeez, he said with a cig and then patted me on the head. Sure, it took you long enough. What? I don't know what's going on here. It took you so long to realize it. Dad, you really are you? Yeah. Hey! I told you! What's going on here? I did. I, what? But you was a girl. I know. Did you lie to me? Oh, God damn it. Oh, my brain is about to melt. Don't tell me you lied about being a girl. I guess that's what it boils down to. Where did the... Where... When... 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 I... I thought you were the honest guy. Not the one that lies. No way! Why would you lie? I'm so confused! Calm down! I can calm down! You calm down! You... You be... Ah! What? He patted me on the head like... And said... I like... I never meant to deceive you. Joe, I'll tell you everything, so just listen, okay? I'm ready! My body's ready! I need answers! Okay. Do you remember my father? No? Uh-huh, he had those beautiful multicolored eyes and was always kind to me. Uh-huh, I do remember it. Well, he was a spell singer that traveled all over to exterminate magical... Well, he was a spell singer that traveled all over... Exterminating magical beasts that caused harm to humans. We had traveled to your village because there was a large outbreak of evil magical beasts in the area. So that's why you lived in our village for a while, right? Our family lineage of magical spell singers runs back in many generations. It's strange, those born in our family always seem to possess talent of spell singing. Well, I guess some things do run in their family. Was that all? I, 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 Need to cut this video, damn it, because this is getting so way too long. I could have. Oh! Ah! But thank you for watching so far. Remember to comment, share, subscribe, and like for more, because I will continue with this. I need to know more about Joel Crawford and the story there, because they. <gasps> so confusing! I want, I want answers! Oh! Uh, but thank you, everyone, and see you later on. And. I hope all of you have a great day and yeah, I love you all. See you later. Oh, God damn it. I'm finally.
finally got some bosses at least. Did I ever get any gifts? I didn't.